Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about the difference between the living and the dead, the spiritually living and the spiritually dead. Now I'd like to do it in a context that eliminates the extremes. I don't want to talk about the evergreen Christian that is that bold Joshua or Caleb type of believer. Nor do I want to talk about those ugly, ugly graves, those worst of the spiritually dead. I'm not talking about Hitler and the evil, wicked, most vile aspects of sin that we see. Instead, I want to talk about those who tend to be closer to the middle. Those who are spiritually alive, the ones that I referenced in the cemetery, in the graveyard, as being the dormant trees. They're trees with life in them, but at this time they're bearing no fruit, no leaves. They look barren, when in reality, biblically, they are alive, just dormant. And I want to talk about not the ugly graves, but the pretty grave sites. Those really pretty, almost majestic looking tombstones. Those grave sites that are perfectly manicured those that may even have evergreens built on them or around them. Friend, it's critically, eternally important that you understand the difference between those who are spiritually alive and spiritually dead. And it perhaps is most important to recognize the fine line of distinction closest to the middle, not out on the extremes, but where you have those who are alive who may be confused and look and feel dead, and those who are dead, who may be deceived into thinking that they are actually alive. Listen, it is only the gospel and the miracle that comes from our Messiah that can make the dead come alive. And it doesn't matter how much you pad your resume it doesn't matter what you think or feel. If you're not spiritually alive, you're spiritually dead and you need the miracle. Friend, I want to encourage you to get a biblical perspective, to understand the fine lines of distinction between the pretty grave sites and the dormant trees. There's only one place, God's word, where you can get the kind of truth and love, the definitions that you can count on eternally. This is why you need to be discipled. You need to be in God's word. You need to grow spiritually, all by his grace, all for his glory, and as always, only through the living application of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.